What is up guys, I'm Jay Ward, your straight edge hero, back with Prediction Mania 2. We have a green screen, but no proper lighting. Deal with it. So we have this lovely poster instead. Um, so as you might have noticed, there is no crowd. That's because we couldn't get anything booked in time. There's a big musical or something. It's a bit of a nuisance. I can't stand it, whatever. We work with what we got. This is what we got. So, as the current champion, Shall probably walk into the frame after I mention his name. This is gonna be the most intense prediction. I will win. I will take back what's rightfully mine. And there's nothing he can do about it. Ladies and gentlemen, your current WWE champion, live streaming phenomenon somehow, Zeth Rollins. People in the background, not a crowd this way. So, hello. Hello. I want to, yeah, keep, keep, keep that. You see that lovely thing? Yeah. Let it be seen. This, this amazing thing that we had printed. Just like stand a few things to the side so that we're not completely covering up. Anyways, we're here for predictions, and that's what you're hopefully here for. So let's get through these as quickly as we can. First up, we have the WWE Championship match featuring one phenomenal AJ Styles and the King of Strong Style. Mr. Shinsuke Nakamura, who do you got what? Uh, now this is hard, but I'm probably going to go with Shinsuke since he got screwed over last time at SummerSlam to Jinder Mahal. Less, the death of all the, 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 the titles. Less, the less we remember of that, the better. The less we remember, the better. Hmm. I'm going with Shinsuke Nakamura because he deserves the WWE title after so long. So long. And stupid decisions. It's about time he wins it. I'm going with Nakamura. So, we move on. Seriously, let's, let's keep this keep this train. Sure, sure. This is this. Yeah, much better. Up next is a two-pointer. It is the Braun tag team match. Braun Strowman. Shoot, I forgot the thing. Braun has a mystery of par par a partner. Blah, blah, blah. Against DeBars, Sheamus, and Cesaro. Two points here. Who's his partner? And second of all, um, who wins? Who do you yeah. got what? I'm going to go with Braun and the mystery partner. Now, this is fun because people are playing around like they're thinking it might be Alexa Bliss, which would be hilarious. be the best thing ever. Maybe. As, as a heel, she would have so much to brag about. Being the only woman to have a male title, she'd have so much to brag about. But anyways, continue. But, and there's also the possibility of Neville, Bray Wyatt, or just him coming out with no one and just being the Alexa. No, he has to have a partner and it's it's. He has a partner. It's not yeah. just going to be himself. To the, to, to the displeasure of probably everybody. Yeah. But I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman and the mystery partner winning. Lovely. I think the bar is going to win. I know. I know it's, it's a ludicrous choice. It's, it's literally written right there in WWE. Let Braun win in very big, bold text, I'm sure. I'm going with DeBar because I just really like Cesaro, guys. Cesaro. Deserves a singles title. Why he doesn't get one, I don't know. He deserves one. So I'm going with Debar. As far as Bronze! Mystery partner. Uh, Neville. I would prefer it to be Alexa Bliss, me personally, but there's like a 0% chance of happening. Because sponsors! Yay! The other reason why we don't have mixed tag matches as often. You're welcome. And so, with that being said, I'm thoroughly convinced it's going to be the king of the cruiserweights, Neville, making a grand return to the main roster. Not a 205... Live division BS thingamajig. It's just gonna be main roster. Yeah. Cool. Lovely. Next match we have got is I'm starting to lose my memory. Oh yes, how could I forget? The Empress of Tomorrow versus the Queen. Charlotte Flair. Who do you have winning? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Asuka on this. Like an undefeat two year streak is pretty good, and then winning the Title at WrestleMania after winning a 30 men, 30 woman, sorry, <laughs> Royal Rumble match. I'm pretty sure Oscar's got going to get this angle over to SmackDown at the same time. Depending on which brand Oscar's on, that will determine who wins based upon the fact that the Raw Women's Champion isn't changing shows anytime soon. So, with that being said, another bold prediction by your boy, of course, I'm going with the Queen. Charlotte Flair to retain. 
only because the title has to stay on SmackDown because the Raw Women's title, the Raw Women's title, isn't going anywhere. So SmackDown, the only way it stays on SmackDown is by Charlotte winning. The most interesting thing they could do is move Asuka to the blue brand, but honestly, I haven't seen any reports of that happening, so. Wonderful. Moving on to the Intercontinental Triple Threat match featuring Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, and The Miz. We got what? I'm going to go with Seth Rollins on this. this it seems like it's a, a good match for Seth Rollins to win, and it would boost him a lot, being Intercontinental Champion. Unfortunately, your prediction is too sour, but my prediction will be too sweet. As I'm pretty sure Finn Balor turns heel, joins up with Balor Club as they help him win his first singles title since the Universal Title Shoulder Injury Catastrophe. Finn Balor, Icy Champ. That's too sweet. Moving on. Gosh, I feel like I'm forgetting matches. Am I missing any? Cruise weight. Cruise away, of course. How could we forget about 205 Live? Because WWE's probably already forgotten about 205 Live. And that's a sad truth. Oh, snap. Anyways, it is Mustafa Ali versus uh, um, Cedric Alexander. Yeah, who, who do you got, why? I'm going to go with Cedric on this. I'm going he, was, he was going to win it against... Enzo, but poorly Enzo got fired. Cat Great serves him job, right. Enzo. Serves him right. Gosh, 205 Live has no luck. Neville's gone, yeah. and their champion's fired. Austin Aries left. Well, well that... Austin Aries left, and then Neville left. Yeah, anyways. But I'm thinking it's Cedric Alexander. He turns heel. Mustafa Ali is like, oh, you cheated. I would have won if you did not cheat. And then you will lose again. Because Mustafa Ali, I do not feel, is going to be near there. But that's, that's okay, Mustafa. Yeah. You can try. You can try. You will fail, though, in every attempt. All right. We got the Women's Battle Royal, or whatever the fudge it was supposed to be called before the internet got mad. Don't really care. What, it was supposed to be the fabulous Moolah. Apparently, she did a lot of bad things, and everyone's like, no, it can't be that. So now they just named it Women's Battle Royal. When they could have gone with another. Genius! Movie. When they could have gone with anybody other. Could have gone with Lita, and then Lita could have come back and won the first ever Lita Battle Royal. It's true, that would be amazing. Or Trish Stratus doing the same thing. Anyways. That's but that's never going to happen because WWE wants to be. Logic! Jerks. Actually, no, actually, it's just a lack of creativity. True. So who do you got what? I'm going to go with Bailey on this. Like, there. And. Because, well, it's a way to push her since she's going down recently, and her. Barbara and Sasha is pretty good, so sparking this between them is pretty going to be pretty. I'm nice. gonna make two predictions because I've been because I kind of had debates on this one. I'm actually gonna say that the winner is Ruby Wyatt, Riot, and the reason why it's gonna be Ruby Riot, besides the fact that she's part of the Riot Squad, silliest name ever. You need to legitimize one of these female groups. They're like the same thing, except Riot Squad didn't lose their leader due to a serious concussion and life-threatening thing, like Poor Paige. Paige. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, I'm going with Ruby Riot, so that way they can establish, they can actually establish one of these two to be the more dominant, I guess, makes more sense. Mm -hmm. But I'm still wanting Sasha Banks to turn heel, so it's gonna happen at this at, at WrestleMania, or Bayley turns heel. One of them's turning heel at WrestleMania during that Battle Royal thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I mean, like I said, it, I mean, I'd be happy if it was Sasha, but I'm going with Ruby Riot. Kind of a left fielder for fun. Mm, true. <laughs> Can't do it like I can. No, so, really. I'm trying to think, is there any other matches? I'm pretty sure there's the on the males. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Piss off, Battle Royals, you suck! We can never get a male Battle Royal right. Well, then again, no. the Royal Rumble was just kind of handed to us on a silver platter. Well, the really. women's. No, we never yeah. got the yeah. We never got the males. So for some reason we got the women. It is well, it was the Andre the Giant Memorial Medal. Oh, man. 
Can we like get like a doctor over here or some medic, you know?